If you've played around with Mapbox in Power BI, you know it has loads of great features to create really rich and beautiful maps. And in this video, I'll walk through how to reveal different layers of insights by configuring the Mapbox drill down functionality. I'm Alice from Discovery AI, and I love creating maps to help visualize our environment. So the first step is to set up a chloropleth map inside of your Power BI report using Mapbox. Here you can see we've created a map showing the average priority rating of our catchments across Melbourne. And when we select a catchment, you can see that the nutrient concentration updates over time in these time series charts. And while this is a pretty cool report, it would be so much more powerful if I could actually drill down on the catchments and analyze the data for the different rivers. And like most of my other examples, the data presented here is synthetic and I created it for demonstration purposes only. If you're new to Mapbox or you need a refresher on how to create a chloropleth map, then head across to our previous video blog on Mapbox 101, where I walk through the key steps to help you get started quickly. So the next step is to add another layer to the location field well in our Mapbox visual. You can see here that we've already got the basin name in our location. So what we need to do now is add in the next layer, so our river name, and create a second level in our hierarchy. If we head across to the format options, you can see that we've already got our access token copied in, and down in Chloropleth, you can see that we've configured our um, first level with those three key data sets that we need here. And to add another layer to our data set, it's really easy. We just increase the number of levels to two. And here I want to include a custom tile set to visualize my rivers. So the last step is to enter the layer properties for our new map level. So in the Mapbox Studio, you can see that I've created a tile set for our priority rivers across Victoria. I'm going to start by copying my tile set ID and pasting it into the vector tile URL for level two. So let's copy my layer name here and paste it again and do the same thing for our field from the attribute table. So this is just as you usually would configure um, a normal chloropleth map. Selecting our map and turning on the drill down option in the header, when we select a catchment now, we can actually drill down to reveal all the individual rivers within that catchment. But just be aware that when you have drill down still turned on, we can't actually filter the lowest level. In Mapbox, you need to turn it off. We can also expand the hierarchy to see all the rivers across the state. So this is an incredibly powerful feature and it allows you to create some really versatile maps. If you want to learn more about the awesome things you can do in Mapbox and Power BI, then check out my other video tutorials where I walk through how to get started quickly, how to create some really nice 3D maps, how to design your own custom styles and backgrounds. And if you're keen to learn more about Power BI, then make sure to get in touch with one of our team at Discovery AI and register for our new online Power BI Designer Masterclasses. Or for those enviros out there, check out our Power BI for the environmental industry training. Have fun, and as always, thanks a lot for watching.